It's a war going on outside, I'm in a safe front yeah. World full of frauds, either you is or you ain't one yeah. Y'all late bragging about the dough a nigga been getting We loud but we smoke loud it's a big hey Everybody, Avocado here, you're watching Bar for Bar Podcast Check that shit out Hey yo, it's your boy Self Made Films, man We back, we about to get into this first battle Profilini versus Savio It went down yesterday uh, This is my first time seeing these dudes battle They both did their thing they both came out firing. They was on fire. Now nah, let me stop playing. Actually, Savio came out in the first round. He actually choked in the first and second round. So I'm going to give those rounds automatically to Pro Fellini. Pro Fellini came out firing. Like, you know what I mean? His energy was there. His bars was there. This was the first time me seeing him in person. Seeing him, period. I never even seen none of his battles. But I, I, I seen him in a couple of uh, blogs, I believe, in pictures. With NWX, so I was excited to see him uh, perform. Um, he came, he delivered. I liked the energy. Definitely, it was definitely was a 3-0. It wasn't even no competition. Like I said, Savio uh, choked in the first and second round, but Savio did say he uh, took it on a on a week's uh, prep. So you know what I mean. You can't fault him too bad. You know what I mean. He said he's not gonna do that next time. One week prepping ain't long enough for Savio. Those are the words out of his mouth. So. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. You got up there. Shit happened. Went down. So, yeah, man. I definitely got Pro Fellini taking the battle easily 3-0. You know what I mean? But I'm pretty sure Savio will be back so he can do his thing. You feel me? We got Ziggy versus Cortez. I believe it was a last-minute battle. It was a one-rounder. I think uh, Ziggy had maybe a day or two to prep. Uh, Cortez, I think he freestyled through most of it. They made it pretty entertaining. The crowd seemed to like it. And it is what it is. We're going to move on from that. Next, we got Ill Will versus Don Marino. Fire battle. I seen Ill Will last week versus 40 Cal. This was a different Ill Will. Um, he definitely did his thing. He came out firing. He had a whole angle about uh, about Don being, in a, being a Mexican, but he, he it wasn't like the, the angle we heard before. Like, this was a, a different angle. It was funny. It was creative. He mixed it in with bars. Uh, all three rounds was tough. He was definitely cooking. Don Marino did not shy away. He fought back. He came out swinging back. You know what I mean? Um, his rounds was fire as well. Uh, he might have had a little stumble in the second or the third. But uh, like I said, this just happened. I haven't watched it back yet. Um, but I got the battle 2 1 ill will. Definitely a dope battle. It could be 2 1 either way. You know what I mean? Depending on your preference and who you are a bigger fan of. But that I I personally got it 2-1 ill will. I was in the building. So Ad versus Dre Dennis. Uh I didn't see that whole battle. Uh in the building it felt like uh people were saying Av 2-1. Uh but Dre Dennis uh definitely came, showed up, uh putting on for jerseys, definitely shout out to him, Gates of the Garden. Um but in the building, it felt like Av was uh, won that 2-1, but like I didn't see the battle. But it, was, it looked like it was a dope battle, um, very aggressive. I seen Dre Dennis, like I, this Dre Dennis was very aggressive. Like he was definitely feeling what he was saying. And Av was Av, but it was a good Av, like you know what I mean, punch after punch. So, But I think I just caught the last round, so I can't judge that. Next, we got Franchise. And Amzilla, I believe that's how you say his name. They call him AM. I think he was a, a he's an older battle rapper that just coming back. He had a, he had a, a franchise. Franchise was sharp last night. Um, first round, I think the first two rounds, Amzilla started. Then it got a little weird. Like I think he lost his place or something. Then he tried to freestyle and then bring it back. Like he just it looked like a choke that he freestyled over. I think he choked twice in a battle. I think his third round was, I think it was the second, first and second round he, uh, he had those stumbles in. I think he tried to freestyle over it, but, uh, it wasn't really landing, didn't really work for him. Third round, I, think, I believe he came out swinging. Um, it was his most solid round, but it was easily, uh, franchise 2-1 in that battle. So we got B-Dot, Geechee Gotti versus Loso and A-Ward. It's one of the better battles of the night, man. Um, shout out to Guardians of the Culture, by the way. That invasion event was crazy. I got there early, got to meet the owners of the league. They're from uh, Orlando, Florida. Cool, humble dudes. Uh, they gave me access to pretty much anything I needed. It was nothing but love the whole time. 
Um, hopefully we get them back in Jersey soon. B Dot Geechee Gotti versus A Ward and Loso. I got to meet A Ward and Loso last week in Atlanta for the RBE event, the get back event. Um we stayed at the actual same hotel, so I got to kick it with them and some real cool dudes. I was really looking forward to this battle because I know what B Dot and Geechee's capable of and I know what Loso and A Ward was capable of. So it, I was anxious to see this battle. I was actually on stage for this one, um, from the jump. I, A Ward and Loso flow, I've never seen a two on two flow like that. I don't know if people have done it before, I haven't seen it, but the, their flow was crazy. I usually get the, the back and forth real quick, repetitive back and forth in the two on two, but the way they was doing it, they was ending their bars off, off of every, back at the end of every bar, they, it, it would say the last word and, and jump in. So it's kind of hard to explain, you gotta see it. Definitely it was a fire flow, they came out swinging. The whole battle was back and forth. B Doc, Geechee came back swinging. Back, you know, it was like watching tennis. It was like, you know, going back and forth, going back and forth. The third round, uh, A Ward and Loso kept the back and forth thing going. And uh, Geechee and B Doc broke, basically broke their third in halves. So I think Geechee went first, did like eight, uh, did about half a round. And B Doc went. B Doc started barking on A Ward. Like crazy, like, you know, with the whole Christian and then the black uh, kinetic science angles B dot be taken, if I'm saying that correctly, that pan Africanism. So uh, it, was, it got real intense. Um, I think it's going to set up a good B dot A word match, but uh, I got this battle going 2 1 either way. You know what I mean? You can, you know, it, it depends on your preference. I don't think nobody won or lost. I think the culture won. Nobody lost this battle. It was definitely dope. And now we can look forward to uh, B Dot and A Ward and maybe Loso and Geechee. So, definitely a fire battle. Now we're going to get on to DNA and drugs. There's a lot of controversy last week around the DNA and the Adi Boom battle. I'm not going to touch on none of that. It ain't got nothing to do with battle rap. You know what I mean? So, last minute, Boom's off the card. They put drugs in. DNA battle drugs. Drugs had like four days prep, maybe, or something like that. So, I didn't think this battle was going to be anything special I'm on stage for this one too uh, drugs come out swinging doing his thing he was actually very impressive um, was a very impressive uh, performance from drugs off of three or four days uh, prep um, uh, DNA came out he uh, came out with a more of a personal angle of talking about himself and what he should be doing what the fans be saying about him whatever um, it was a dope back and forth I gave the battle 2-1 drugs. I liked his energy, but then they definitely did his thing too. They had a surprise at the end. Drugs is now in WX. They announced it at the end of the battle. It was a surprise to a lot of people. It definitely was a surprise to me. Um, drugs is now down with NWX. You know what I mean? Not to let the cat out the bag, but it is what it is. They did it last night. Boom. Now we got the main event of the night. Now before I get into this main event, me, uh, between Twerk and Bad News, Bad News got to the uh, the event early, like around the same time I got there. I got there early, so I got to kick it with, with the young man, definitely a down-to-earth dude. Uh, we actually got to shoot some hoops and, you know, chop it up a little bit. So, you know what I mean? I, was, I told him I was uh, a big fan and I'm waiting for this battle because between him and Twerk, that energy is going to be crazy. You know what I mean? So, I was looking forward to it. And uh, last battle of the night, so... Twerk, I think Twerk goes first. I forget who goes first. But it was a fire battle. Like, you know, Twerk is home. They did it in Jersey. So the crowd was like pro Twerk. But Bad News stood in front of it. He ain't back down. He did his thing too. But I got the battle going 2-1 Twerk. Twerk just had too many punches, too many moments. Like, uh, it felt like to me in the building, Twerk, uh, they both had moments. But Twerk moments was a little, you know what I mean, was here. And Bad News moments was here. So. You know what I mean? It could be just because of the home crowd, I don't know, but they both was a very entertaining battle. So yeah, that was my night, man. Um, quick recap on last night, man. Guardians of the Culture, the Invasion event. You know what I mean? Jersey was in the building, well represented. Um, it was a great night, man. Bar for Bar Podcast, live from the kitchen. You know what it is, man. Cook up!